The Chevron-operated Gorgon project is the largest single resource project in Australia's history. To meet the challenges posed by its unprecedented scale and complexity has needed some innovative solutions. Solutions that are being developed right here in Australia. The Gorgon project includes the construction of Australia's largest subsea infrastructure system. Perth-based Velocious was given the task of developing a remotely operated solution that will help maintain the health of the Gorgon pipeline for decades to come. Velocious was commissioned initially to do the conceptual detailed design and engineering for the buckle initiation system for the Gorgon project. That, uh, that initial conceptual and detailed design then led into the fabrication, assembly, commissioning and testing of the, the complete system. For us, the buckle initiation system and its challenges were the fact that there was never a system designed or built like this in the world. Excessive pressures and temperatures can cause steel pipelines to buckle. Controlling where and how the pipelines buckle improves the pipeline's longevity. This system allows the pipeline to, to breathe, as we call it, in those specific locations where we have the system installed and then we can measure um, how much it's expanding and contracting over its lifetime, monitor that um, and ensure that that displacement, that breathing is within the pipeline design specification. The system primarily operates on seawater. Not many ROV tools in the world uh, operate on seawater. We've designed this system spe to specifically operate on seawater. What does that mean? It means we're not using hydraulics or other fluids that could potentially contaminate the environment. So we're, we've got an environmentally friendly system. Velocious employed a variety of expertise to construct 11 120 tonne buckling initiation systems, including the family operated Pacific Industrial Company. There was a significant ramp up of uh, personnel required to do this work. The work uh, in total has required approximately 70,000 man hours and has engaged in excess of 100 people to bring the work to completion over a six month period. The long lasting benefits of this contract for, for Gorgon to Velocious has been the establishment of further key suppliers in Perth um, as part of Velocious' supply chain and we'll continue to use those, those local suppliers going forward. Another supplier meeting Gorgon's technological challenges is KT Pipelines, subsidiary of Western Australian engineering firm Monodelphus. Umbilicals are the lifeline to subsea infrastructure systems, feeding them fluids, communications and power. KT Pipelines was commissioned to install umbilicals for the Gorgon project, but with a difference. The Gorgon project is the first project that we've managed to find that's actually been involved with laying umbilicals across the land. We're required to install the piping from the HDD shore break across the 12.5 kilometres across the island to the inlet area and down into the LNG plant. There's a lot of installation of uh, umbilicals offshore, but from what we could find, we couldn't see it to being done onshore. The installation process would need to allow constant tension to be applied as the cord is drawn, but would also need to be gentle enough to prevent any damage to the complex cables contained inside it. Because there wasn't any history of it being done before, we had to go come up with our own concept about how we were going to do it, and our concept was to develop a specified machine. Track machine, it's been a bit of a collaborative effort between a number of companies. Uh, we've had uh, an engineering company out of Melbourne doing our initial preliminary design and helping with our control system and electrical design. We've uh, done our fabrication and assembly in workshops in Perth and uh, all that's been project managers out of the uh, KT Monodelphus office out in Vic Park. Innovative solutions like these need opportunities to develop. One place enabling that is the Western Australian Energy Research Alliance, or WA ERA. The alliance draws on the capabilities of the University of Western Australia, Curtin University and CSIRO. Any particular R&D project can be quickly uh, signed up uh, because we've got a basis for doing that rapidly. We are in a unique position to assist the Gorgon project with the long-term CO2 storage that's planned for Barrow Island. We've already started to explore what may be possible in terms of monitoring and verification work. WA ERA is not only a current source of expertise for the Gorgon project, 
It is key in developing future problem solvers. In terms of multiple massive projects, of which Gorgon is the absolute landmark project, all of them require skilled labour uh, and graduates and postgraduates R&D and to have that capacity drawn together and encouraged and facilitated by WA era is really important not just for Gorgon and Chevron but for the whole industry in this state and indeed the nation. The $43 billion Gorgon project is committed to investing in local industry and Australian innovation. Its investment is helping to develop technology and skills that will leave a lasting legacy for decades to come.